Lights, camera, and action. Creating a news package might be harder than one might think. You need the right equipment, some technical know-how, and a good idea. The first step in creating a news package is to come up with a topic. You want something people are going to be interested in, but you also want the topic to be something that is actually newsworthy. Stories are all around you. Just look in your local community. You can even bounce ideas off of your friends. You also want your topic to be timely. There's no reason to re-report old news unless you're looking at it from a different angle. The next step will be to find your sources and contact them for additional information about your topic. Your primary sources should be directly related to your topic, preferably someone with an official title as they add a strong foundation to your story. But it also isn't bad to conduct person on street interviews as this adds a sense of authenticity to your piece. Your sources should be independent from one another. For example, do not interview the manager of a store, then interview the assistant manager. You should also identify yourself and let the person being interviewed know that this video will be published on YouTube. First of all, you know you're being recorded and this is uh, probably going to be used, um, it's going to be seen the world over by millions and millions of people, right? Okay, good. All right, just make sure. Lastly, in your interview, you should use open-ended questions such as why, what, explain, and tell me about. Better sound bites stem from questions like these. Okay, all right, so Michael, first of all, if you would, tell me what, tell me what it is you do on the internet. And during interviews, Using a microphone vastly improves the sound quality. The next step is shooting your footage. The number one rule of shooting footage is to shoot tons of B-roll. B-roll is essential in many ways. The more you have, the better off you'll be. Another thing to look at is the angle of your shot and where the object that you're shooting is placed within the frame. The subject of your shot ideally should be shot within one of the outer thirds of the frame. Also, look for shots that add depth and another element to your shot. We want them to be as visually stirring to the viewer as possible. Also, when shooting, make sure to use a tripod to keep the shot steady and make sure the subject of your shot is in good lighting. Using artificial lighting is recommended when not shooting outdoors with good sunlight. After you've shot your footage, it's time to edit. The ideal program to use when editing your package is Final Cut Pro, but at times, Apple's iMovie is also accepted. The first step is to upload the video files into your computer. The next step is to arrange the video clips how you would like. You can trim the clips, you can add your sound bites, and even add graphics onto the screen. You can also do many, many other things using Final Cut Pro. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put them in right there. wonder if it'll work. The final step is exporting your video to the hard drive to be shown. This may take a little time, but well worth the wait to see the finished product. After properly exporting the video, you will need to upload it to YouTube for it to be graded. The last and final step in creating a news package is returning all of the equipment back to its proper place. Not doing so impedes others from doing what they may have to do. This is Chris Townsend. I hope I was able to help you better understand how to make a news package. Goodbye and good luck.